Happy Friday, Naked Bloggers. We're back with another weekend takeaway. So my tweet came in this week from Jason, and he asked, how can I come up with a good niche? I've been brainstorming for a year. A year, a whole year. Poor Jason, and I bet heaps of you who are watching can relate to this. So why is your niche important? If we're looking to build an online audience, you want people to come back because you're consistent, reliable, and they know what to expect when they come to your site. This week's episode is unique because I've created some custom resources for you to use to help get your cogs turning. This is a really good exercise to do whether you're an established blogger, whether you think you've really got things nailed down, or whether you're actually completely stabbing in the dark and have no idea what your niche should be. Below this video, if you're watching on the blog, if you're watching on YouTube, stop right now, hit pause, and go to the description and click on the link to my blog post because that's where the resources are. So go ahead and click on the first PDF where we are going to get passionate. Don't overthink this, this is the biggest hint I can give you. Have a look through here. All you've got on this piece of paper is a grid and this is your hot list. And there's some slight instructions at the bottom which tell you to relax, unwind, allow your subconscious mind to identify 10 areas that you really, really love. We don't just want things that you're kind of interested in. We want things that you really, really love because this is about your passions. Things that you absolutely get excited about even when you think about them right now. And don't be thinking about your blog. Just be thinking about the things that are important to you and the things that excite you to get out of bed at the weekends or on a work day, whatever it is. The things that are closest to your heart. Ten of them at least. Get ready, go and grab your favorite pen, get a drink, get whatever you need to make yourself completely relaxed. Don't overthink it, this can be absolutely anything. 10 things, go. Okay, welcome back. You should have an amazing list of 10 things that really excite you. Topics that are really close to your heart and things that you could shout about from the top of a mountain at any given opportunity. Now what I want you to do is go back over this list and just pick out three that really, really speak to you for some reason. And it might not even be able to put your finger on what that reason is. Pick the top three that you think you could really, really write some juicy content about, you would like to tell people about and really sell the topic that it is you've picked from your hot list and get ready to open up the next PDF. Okay, so our next PDF, let's talk about it. This is where we're gonna find your niche. Again, no overthinking, let's keep this really simple. In the columns at the top, number one, two, three, I want you to take the topics from your hot list that we just identified as your three favorite ones and just pop their names across the top in that number one, two, three space. Now that you've got those there, your job now is to, underneath these, I want you to brainstorm. I know that you're probably feeling, Jason particularly, probably feeling a bit uncomfortable with that word because you feel you've been doing this for such a long time already, but stick with me, hang in there. Brainstorm everything that really means something to you about this topic. Okay, so you should have now a brimming page for at least one of these columns, and you'll probably find that one of them was a bit of a struggle. If there was a struggling topic, scratch it off. You don't wanna be dealing with that. That just shows you you are going to struggle to come up with ideas of what you want to write about. It's gonna be no use to you at all, so bin it. If you're not excited about what you're writing about, it really comes through in your writing. You have to be in love with your content. While we're saying that there was one that probably didn't really speak to you today, there was probably one that really triggered off a whole cycle of ideas, blog post topics, and you probably couldn't help but think about those. That is your niche. This is a brilliant thing to do anytime you need content creation ideas. You fall back in love with the topic. You know why you're writing about this stuff. If you are looking to build an audience, which is what my whole focus is about here, you need to be making sure that you are writing content that you and your readers will love. This is an absolute foolproof exercise. As I say, come back again and again and again. Just do this all the time. You will always be in love with your blogging. You will always be excited about the topics that you're going to be writing about. So be confident. You have got your niche buried deep somewhere within you. I would love to answer questions in the comments below and I would really, really love to hear what you found your niche was after doing this exercise. So please get involved in the discussion, share this post far and wide, and I look forward to seeing you next week with another brilliant question. Keep them coming.